title fight between Curtis Razorblades and the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Blades is 29, Lewis is 35. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a one inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Curtis Racer! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway.
So here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way. But given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans. But which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. The ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Curtis Blades. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters you have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Blades. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Solid strike on the ground. Just over two minutes to go. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Blades. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Curtis Blades. This is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, right back to the action here. Round two, okay, Curtis Blades. And on fight. the other side, Derek Lewis. Look at how oh, that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, single collar tie here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lewis gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 80 total strikes have landed for Curtis Blades. Well, two out of every three strikes, finding the target, landing with 67% accuracy against Derek Lewis. Nice, Big punch from the clinch. 
and they separate. Another one. Yep. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to get too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big elbow there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Under a minute now in round two. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Curtis Blades. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. So now he's on top of him looking for the finish. I mean, how many can he take? All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Championship fight. Whiffs on that offering. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, he engages in the single ball of tie. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Caught that kick there. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Side control now. Both fighters get up now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, so the unofficial numbers thus far, 114 total strikes have landed for the heavyweight Curtis Blades. And landing with 59% accuracy against the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Blades going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big ball for such lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Left eye starting to shut a little bit. That bear's watching. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Blades. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Curtis Blades. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Artie's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Good work from the top here by the Black Beast. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting yeah. off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Curtis Blades. Wait, 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 wait. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient. Not a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Immediately gets the underhook. Lewis has got the tie clinch now. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects. Oh, that's right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. What a moment and what a victory for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. A lot of people wondered as the challenges got stiffer, how would Blades respond? He responded in kind here tonight to stamp himself a bona fide UFC heavyweight contender.